2023 890T Adventure R uh, issue with the front and rear tire losing air. It's not a big issue for me, but you know, I can see how pain in the ass it can be. The front was losing around two to three PSI daily. Uh, the rear, not so much. It was losing, but not as much as the front. I was changing my uh, EO7s, so I thought um, before I do that, I'm going to install the OEM TPMS. Um, so I took the uh, valve body out and I checked the seal. It was pretty compressed on one side it's only supposed to be torqued to like 12 uh, newton meters and i think it was sealed uh, uh, sorry compressed or torqued much more than that so i replaced the valve body sealed around it with the sealant that i have installed the tpms installed the e10 for the front and uh, it hasn't lost any air i did that yesterday so far it hasn't lost any I'm going to keep an eye on it and see, uh, but I'm pretty sure that was the reason I was losing air. Uh, there's no uh, definitive uh, answer because in my case on the front, it was, I'm pretty sure the valve body, but on the back, I found it is this one spoke. You can see it bubbling. So that would mean for the rear, I would have to change the inner lining. It doesn't lose that much air. It is a slow leak. Um, so I'm going to try a sealant first, if that takes care of it. If it doesn't, then... Uh, Next time I go to change the rear tire, I may replace that. Um, I installed the EO9s uh, for the back. Um, so I'm gonna keep an eye on this one, see how much it loses. Um, it looks to be a slow leak, but we will see. So I'm gonna try a sealant first. If that doesn't do the job, then I suppose I have to um, replace the inner lining. I mean, it would be under warranty, but um, I like doing the stuff myself, so we'll see. All right.